I don't know what you know about the Ketchum Sun Valley bunch that lived in the communist county of Lane. A guy by the name of John Mark who heads up a group called Western Watersheds. These people are eco wolf dog terrorists. They will do anything to achieve their goal on feeding wolves here. They'll do anything. They have elevated these wolves to a godlike status. I think some of them want to be wolves in their next lifetime. I think the lady that uh, I had a confrontation with probably would like to count the male wolf as a wolf. And I, that may sound absurd to you, but it is in fact wolf. And we are trying to get that done. There's been a line drawn in the sand. These people have stepped over. These enviros, there, there's three kinds of terrorists. Ben Lawton and foreign terrorists, the Defenders of Wildlife and the Idaho Conservation League, domestic terrorists, and the wildlife terrorist is the Canadian one. That's the way I see it. I am so sick of hearing biology and science and all of that, and I'm sure you probably are too. Each Canadian wolf is going to kill from 16 to 24 ungulates per year per wolf. They're, each wolf is going to kill twice that many or inch twice that. So that could put it up to, you know, in the 30s, in the 40s. Then in the spring, they're going to follow the elk herds around and kill the calves as fast as they're born. That's called sport reflex killing. So we've got the number that the wolves kill to eat, the number that they binge kill, and the number that they sport kill. We are in the worst wildlife disaster in our state's history right now. No question about it. And that's a hundred wolves. The problem with that is every female in the pack is having a litter. And some of them are having two litters. We've all seen dog breed, haven't we? The wolves are dogs. They kill everything. They kill all of the prey first. Then after they, they hunt 365 days a year and they only eat red meat. They are the most cruel, vicious predator in North America. <laughs> These are facts. Now, after they have killed the prey, then they start on the other predators. They'll kill foxes, they'll kill coyotes, they kill bears, they kill mountain lions. You know, I didn't know this until I started on this research. I am so sick of hearing biology and science and all of that. And I, you know, I didn't know this until I started on this research. But a pack of wolves will dig in and kill a hibernating bear. Doesn't matter if it's a black bear or a grizzly. If, if the devil had an animal, it's the Canadian wolf. You know, and I've been to meetings where people have jumped on the wolf. Aren't you a Christian? Don't you think everything has a place in nature? Yeah, I do. But I don't, I don't think an animal that absolutely kills everything else has a right to be Okay. Uh, I don't know about you, but I get tired of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the Idaho Fish and Game saying there's 750, there's 785 wolves in Idaho. You want to bet your paycheck on I like to get right in there. Yeah, you've made a big mistake. There's probably 3,000 to 3,500 wolves in the state. Figure it out. To him up to that point. Rex Rowan is running for the United States Senate for the seat that I assume Craig is going to give up. Um, Rex Rammel had a elk farm, elk ranch over out of Rexburg. He was beat up by the press last fall. The Idaho Fish and Game went in and shot elk on his property, by his property. Let me tell you something. By the time these wolves have slaughtered all of our game, we may need to buy some of these elk to get things started again. It took 65 to 75 years for us to get any big game herds. And that's in spite of the Idaho Fish and Game, not what the Idaho Fish and Game did for us. 
But Rammel told me, he said, you know, first of all, he's a doctor in veterinary medicine, and he has a master's degree in biology. I am so sick of hearing biology and science and all of that. Now, Rammel has decided to run for the U.S. Senate. The man is 47 years old. He is tougher than nails. He's a good family man. He's a good man. He has no ties with these crooks that we got down in Boise that are representing us, and they're not all crooks, but you know what I'm talking about. We got a man here that's one of us supporting. How are you going to kill me? I don't care. I'll just take a nuke and take a poison of dynamite carriers. I don't care how they get rid of me. I just want them gone. The only wolf we want left in Idaho is one in the zoo in Boise. Uh, our reward is to preserve the big game herds of Idaho and all of Idaho's native wildlife. No negotiation, no compromise, no consensus, and no Canadian wolves in Idaho. When these wolves were brought in, they spent $350,000 for each one of the, those 35 wolves that they dumped on us. $350,000. Now, they also dumped 30-some wolves in the Yellowstone at the same price. That came to $17 million. Uh, here's one that really gets me. The other thing we know, our public surveys show that once wolf populations are delisted and managed, animosity towards wolves will substantially decline. What kind of surveys are these people reading? But I don't I don't think an animal that absolutely kills everything else has a right. Okay, uh, but I don't, I don't think an animal that absolutely kills everything else has a right. Okay, uh, but I don't, I don't think an animal that absolutely kills everything else has a right. Okay.